What's up guys, it's Jake at Toyota of Murfreesboro. This is the 2024 Toyota Sienna. It's the limited trim level. It's a hybrid vehicle. It's amazing on the inside and out. I'm gonna do a walk around for you. I'm gonna show you what's on the inside and take it for a test drive. Stick around. All right, this is the 2024 Toyota Sienna. As you can see, the limited trim level has these nice elegant slats in the front, beautiful LED headlights and fog lights down below. Right here we have the 18 inch split five spoke wheels. These are alloy and they look great on the limited package. So right here we have the body moldings that protects against door dings. Somebody opened up the car door against it. Alrighty, coming around here. Got a really nice profile. Got the roof rails on top that match the wheels. This one also comes with the crossbars so you can just throw your luggage up there right away. On the back end you can see in the Toyota emblem there that it's blue. Okay, so that just means that it's a hybrid vehicle. Down here you can see that it's all-wheel drive because the hybrid engines power the front and the rear wheels. Down here you can see it's a limited trim level with a hybrid badge as well. I love the gloss black bumper. It just gives it a little bit of sportiness. And I like how that the tail lights are outlined in black as well. All right, so this is going to be $56,119 on the MSRP. Remember, MSRP stands for Manufacturer's Suggested Retail Price. So that could be a little bit higher or a little bit lower depending on where you're looking for this vehicle. Um, it is, again, the Limited. It's an all-wheel drive vehicle. This means that you won't always be using all four wheels to power your vehicle, but when one or two of them start to slip, then the computer starts to send power to those other v other wheels that are not slipping to pull you out of whatever sticky situation you're in. Remember that a hybrid engine means that you have a gas powered engine and in this case it's the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and an electric motor. They work together in tandem. The benefit of a hybrid engine is, is that when you're coming from a standstill and trying to go forward, it's gonna use the electric motor to get you moving and then it'll kick on the gas engine. That's how you get the amazing gas mileage in the city because that's when you're doing the most start and stop. Also, you don't have to charge this vehicle, it charges itself. It uses regenerative braking, so as you slow down, it sends energy back to the battery. Not only that, but this has 245 net combined horsepower. Speaking of fuel efficiency, this one gets in the city 35 miles per gallon and 36 on the highway. Most minivans are gonna get between 20 and 25 miles per gallon. So this is a really, really big upgrade. It'll extend the range on your vehicle as you take long cross country trips and things like that. Let's go take a look at the driver's side. Okay, so right here we have smart access, which means if I put my hand behind it, it unlocks the door. And if I'm ready to lock it, I can just put my thumb here and it'll lock the vehicle. When I lock the vehicle, it's got automatic folding side mirrors to prevent some of those incidences in the parking lots. Again, if I do that, it opens up the side mirror. Right here, we've got the blind spot monitor system. This will turn orange when somebody's in your blind spot, either on this side or the other side. And down here, we have some, an amazing feature. This is a kick sensor so that when the key is in your pocket and you have a lot of stuff in your hands, you can actually just swing your foot underneath it and it'll open the side door for you. And it'll close the same way. So that's a really, really nice feature. On the inside, we have a nice light gray up here with a soft touch. We get a different color of gray and then a little bit of faux wood paneling here. We've got power windows, power locks, and then there's your switch for your side mirrors. We do have memory seats right here, position one, position two, and it has smart access. So you can actually, it'll actually slide the seat back to get when you're getting in the vehicle and slide the seat back up once you click your seat belt. And right here, we've got all the different ways to adjust your seat. Um, we've got forward, back, tilt, and then we've got lumbar, up, down, and back and forth. Down here, this one comes with the all-weather mats. And then up here, we have traction control. We've got your automatic high beams, your 120 volt. Then we've got the, the brightness for your display. Down here is your gas release. And this will turn off on and off your power back door on the tailgate. This is your hood release. 
right here is a, a nifty little tray. You can put your chapstick there, your bobby pins, things like that. I really like the interior. It's got some perforation here because it does have heated and cooled seats. These are very comfortable seats. As you can see, it does have the moonroof. And check that out, a DVD player or a video screen there for some of your digital entertainment. All right, here we go. That button right there is super easy for kids to open and close the side door. In here, we have the second row, a lot of space. And you'll notice that this has a cushion on the front. That's because that is an ottoman. It is an amazing feature that this vehicle has. We do have the bucket seats, but check this out. So if I pull this, I can slide this seat back. And when I pull this out, I get my ottoman to come out. Look at that. So you obviously take up a lot of space in the back row by sliding that front seat, that middle seat back. But if you don't necessarily need the back seat, this is a great way to travel if you're in the middle seat. For access into the back row, you can just simply lift this lever right here and the seat will slide forward so you can get easy access. Here we also have cup holders there. We have the HDMI cable so that you can hook up like a PlayStation. You've got your outlet there. This is an amazing feature. <laughs> this is here to hang, let's say, a trash bag or maybe your purse, something that you need to hang right there. Also some USB chargers. We have a USB-C and a, a regular USB. Up here, we've got this nice big screen. Look how big that screen is. We didn't have that when I was a kid. It was like this big. <laughs> Okay, also up here we've got your climate control for the second and third row. Okay, we do have a one button automatic lifting tailgate. You can also control that from the key. Back here you've got tons of storage space. Over here we've got another place to store. And this has your headphones in there for your TV screen that's up there. Let me show you real quick how to drop this seat. Okay, so we pull this here and it just drops like that. So let's do it again. So as you can see, it's got these flaps right here so that you can make it more of a, a flat surface to, to, to load and to store. Pull those back up. And then you lift, just lift this here. Step one, step two. Step one, step two. Now, check this out. This also has a kick sensor on the back. So if you go basically right in the middle of it, it'll drop your tailgate. All right, on the passenger side, we've got multiple places to put your cup holders. Uh, we've got a nice tray right here. Down here, we've got more storage to put, let's say, your purse, something like that. Let's go back into this passenger side and just check out a couple more uh, cup holder situations. The third row, you've got two cup holders there. You've got the volume control if you want to plug in some headphones. You've got the rear shade so that you can get yourself some shut eye. Back here, we've got the same thing. We've got USB-C, USB chargers, volume control. Um, the all-weather mats come all the way through. Down here, you have another cup holder. So lots of cup holders, lots of spaces to store things. And right here is um, how you can uh, close the door. And I like how it's low for kids, you know? They can just reach down here and close the door. Okay, we're in the driver's position now. So what we're going to do is we're going to start it up and i'll show you the startup screens we have analog uh, meters here to show you your rpms and your speed and things like that but you've got your nice digital display as well now like i said this is a hybrid so when it starts up it's going to be very quiet but you know that it's ready when that green light is on let's start on the left side over here we've got all the toggles that will control our menu back there so as i push down we can see different things like that um, this is going to be your volume control, voice recognition system. Right here are your headlights. You've got your fog lights and your automatic setting. 
on the right side, we have all of our cruise control settings. So this actually turns on your cruise control system. This is going to be how you set your speed. And then this is actually going to be the distance that you set between you and the car you're following because what this has is all speed radar cruise control. So let's say you're driving and you're going 70 miles an hour, you set your cruise, but the people ahead of you start to slow down. Well, your car is going to slow down as far as you set that distance between you and them. Then if they start to speed back up, then your car will speed back up to 70. Now this will work all the way to zero. If you get to traffic and you're going all the way down to zero, this will stay in cruise control and speed up as traffic speeds up. So that's a really, really nice feature. This right here mode is going to change you over on your screen from AM to FM, XM, things like that. Um, again, we do have our analog speedometer, but also our digital speedometer. And on the left side is interesting because we've got our hybrid meter. So this means that when we're de decelerating, we're now charging the battery. When we're driving in this speed right here, in this um, power output, you're driving economically. And then if you push it all the way over to here, then basically you're just asking for all the power. And moving on from there, we've got our wipers down here. We've got a USB charger right there so you can charge your phone. Um, this is going to be a QI charger and that's going to be basically where you set your phone to charge it wirelessly. It's got a rubber um, rubber surface so it doesn't slide around. This light right here will turn amber to, to let you know that it is charging. Um, you can also set your phone upright right here. There's a nice couple of cup holders and then in here You've got a little bit of vertical storage, but you can also lift it up for your cups This is this is your glove box down here So as you can see you've got the USB chart USB C charger the USB charger and lots of space down in here All right, over here we have a nice big nine inch screen. This does have the JBL sound system, so you get 12 speakers. This is gonna be bringing you to the home screen where you can see like your radio is here, your map is over here. If you hit menu, you can see all your different options and this would be your Toyota map system. This is gonna be your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which is wireless in this vehicle. So once you get your phone connected via Bluetooth, you can actually project Apple CarPlay or Android Auto up onto the screen. Um, we can change our climate via right here, or we can just do it down here, whatever works best and easiest for you. Um, lots of different options here. If you hit map, you're gonna get the full screen map. And uh, if you hit audio, you're gonna get taken to your radio basically. On the right side here, we've got your seat track. This will switch it right to your phone, and this will pop up that app screen. Um, you do have a Wi-Fi hotspot in here if you sign up for that. Um, just pointing out again that you've got JBL sound system. Right here is all of your climate and comfort. So you can see you've got heated seats, cooled seats, um, automatic climate control, defrost. Now this one is gonna be rear defrost, air conditioning. This actually turns off the airflow to the rear. Not sure why you want to do that. And then this is your passenger seat cooling and heating. All right, up here we have what looks like a normal rear view mirror, but um, it's actually a digital rear view mirror. So as you can see, we can see right back into look at the kids. But if we flip this switch, now we've got a camera that faces out the back so that if our cargo area is full, we can still see what's behind us. And you can actually adjust it. You can make it tilt up, tilt down, zoom in, zoom out, things like that. Now we're back to the regular mirror. This also has built-in home links so you can program your garage door openers to that side and open and close up here. We've got our, what's up guys? We've got our uh, lights on our vanity mirror. And then over here, we have the power lift tailgate open and close for the doors. And then we've also got the moonroof. So let me go ahead and open that, show you how far that opens up. And then we just push the button to close it again. And it is a manual shade. And then right here, we also have our um, the, the Huda Smack. So I call it the Huda Smack because when you look into it, you can figure out who's messing around and who, who you need to smack. I'm just kidding, of course. All right, guys, going for a quick test drive in this 2024 Toyota Sienna Limited. I got to say, because it's a hybrid, it's super smooth as it takes off. Um, you hear the engine kick in a little bit after you start driving. 
um, the steering is super smooth. I mean, I'm, I'm actually just really surprised at uh, how easy it is to turn the wheel. The brakes feel great. They grab very easily and you don't have to put a lot of pressure on the brakes. You never feel like you're underpowered in this. All right, gonna give it a little gas now. All right, this takes off well. It does have a four cylinder engine, so you're gonna hear it a little bit more than you would, let's say a six cylinder engine, just because the four cylinder engine revs more and it sounds a little bit louder, but as far as wind noise goes, so far, this is, this is a great quiet vehicle. Okay, when I'm at a dead stop, it sounds like the engine's completely off, but it's not because it has the electric motor that is powering it at all times. So you may feel like the engine's dead or you're, you might get a little nervous about that, but you'll get used to it because as soon as you put your foot on the gas, it's actually got full power. I really like that about hybrids. Okay, so this is like a digital view of kind of what's happening with your vehicle. As we sit here at a, at a light, you can see that the battery is what is on right now. The engine is not lit up. It's not powering the vehicle. It's the actual hybrid battery. And as I take off, um, when the light turns, then I'll show you what it looks like and how the, how the motor changes between gas and electric. So I took off a little bit harder so that you could see the gas engine kick in. Um, but if I take my foot off the gas, now you can see that the energy is going back to the battery. Put my foot back on the gas and we've got more power. There you go, guys. That's the 2024 Toyota Sienna Limited Hybrid. This has to win mom life. I'm just saying it's got the fuel efficiency. It's got the luxury. It's got all the spaces for your purses. It's got all the spaces for your, your cup holders and the things that you got to put there. And it has the TV screen and it's got the headphones. This thing has it all. This, this works for dad life. You know what I mean? This wins dad life too. If I got to drive a minivan, then this would be the one that I would want. So thanks so much for watching. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see the next ones. Take care.